Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we're playing some two five cash games with a $500 buy-in. Uh, before we get into that though, I did want to give a quick shout out to my friend Patrick Harney's podcast called The Good Life. I joined him for episode 14, where we talked about poker content and our childhood and memories growing up together. So if you guys want to check it out, I'm going to go ahead and link the well, or the video in the description below. Limp here going to raise the small blind with kings and flop top set. Some top sets we'll check. I don't think we'll do that here out of position. That's four of clubs on the turn. Bet and get called. Bet smaller or jam here. Um, I think we're gonna go smaller just because we block all the top pair hands. So really targeting like a queen x type holding. He jams. All right, here we go. Kings versus queen. Nine turns the queen into a bluff and a nice pot going to us. This is in CA three bet from the small blind, putting in the four bet. He decides on a call here. So 262 in the middle. And put out a C-bet here on the king 6-5 rainbow. See a call ace on the turn. So we're going to turn top set here. 392 in the middle. The question is, do we bet or not? Uh, with top set and the SPR just a little over pot, I'm actually going to check here to maybe do some... I guess I don't know how many bluffs he would have. Should we bet small? Targeting like his king. I'm gonna change my mind and bet small here. I think his king x will still maybe call one here. And if we're bluffing, we're gonna attack with the ace, I think. So we'll bet the ace here. Um, I'm actually just not quite too sure what we should be doing. It's hard because we, he's not gonna have very many ace x here, just because there's only one remaining ace in the deck. He does decide to call four on the river. So seven, eight gets there, but other than that, we're looking really good. So we will be going for value here, assuming he checks. If he jams, we'll be calling. And he opened jams into us, and he has kings. Oh my gosh, what a cooler set over set. We've ran so good against Dank today, and that was the most ridiculous one. It looks like this game's going to die right away, so maybe a little bit. It's too helpful. Uh, turn three this is interesting. Going to try and keep his bluffs in. Uh, Queen of Diamonds on the river. So at this point, it'd just be like a snap just call, especially when he overbets. And oh my gosh, he had a three as well. Oh man, that sucks. Heads up hand, we're <laughs> not playing very much heads up. Heads up, uh, three, uh, trips versus trips is pretty brutal. Open the cutoff, small blind three bets. So we're gonna put in the four bet here, the ace jack from the cutoff. And he decides on a call, 10, seven deuce. to a bet pretty small here. He calls five hearts on the turn. So I'm kind of tempted to go for this one just because like I think he's going to get in like aces, kings, queens, pre. And we block the jacks. So I'm actually going to find this as a bluff repping some of my over pairs. He snap calls, he has kings, he trapped us really good, <laughs> and uh, my bluff attempt is, ends horrendously. So hijack open, cut off flat, we're going to go for the squeeze of the ace jack out of the small blinds. And 
and the hijack call and it's going to go multi ways here uh, out of position against two people I think we can bet so at this price we don't need the bluff to get through a ton to be profitable we can definitely have like ace king and kings and don't expect them to have ace king just flatting we block king jack as well so we block ace king we block king jack so king queen's like the best hand they can have i mean obviously they can have jacks too uh 10 on the turn we pick up the gutter and i'm thinking about ripping it in here with the gut shots and we are gonna go for it not sure i love this we're getting aggressive with ace jack we got punished for this earlier now when he goes call call preflop it's hard to imagine him with like tons of strong kings here and we do get the ace jack to work this time Jack open going to three of the big blind the ace five suited he decides on a call seven three a deuce two clubs so we flop the ace high flush draw with the gutter He calls seven on the turn. Going to continue betting here. Kind of an awkward card. He calls nine on the river. So even though it's an awkward turn card, beautiful river. And just under pot behind, even though the board's pair, we are in jam our ace high flush for value. And he does the side call with seven eight. Oh my gosh, we've ran so well versus him today. It's getting disgusting. Low jack open, cut off flats. Going to squeeze from the button with pocket jacks. Low jack decides on a call, and cut off's going to call as well. So we're going to go three ways here: eight five four two spades. Connected board like this when we do bet, if we're checked to, I would think we're probably going bigger. Um, our specific hand plays nice as that because if there's going to be a lot of bad runouts, so we want to be able to jam turn if we get an okay turn card. I uh, wouldn't be able to jam versus him, but we could here. This board's like 8-5-3 with a flush draw. We would bet like third. Wait, I'll go with my bigger sizing here on the 8 5 four, two spades. I don't think he's going to trap with like aces and kings here with the other guy still behind. Uh, so he could be jamming draws or like nines and tens. So I, this is probably the worst hand I call, but I think we do have to call it off as played. Uh, he's king nine of spades. He has a big draw. Hits the flush on the river, unfortunately. Open the low jack button. Three bet. We're going to go for the four bet with kings. jams here we go kings versus ace five hold ah ace on the flop i need help and not going to get it down go the kings that's gonna wrap up our session here guys so we played a mix of two five and one two over the course of three hours at two five we played 732 hands where we lost 610 dollars and we played 125 hands at one two where we won 463 total loss on the day minus 147 and i feel like a broken record at this point but again we get off to a hot start and end up losing a lot of our profit back in this case ending the day down i think at one point we were up about plus 12 or 1300 and just can't seem to close out the wins recently but one of these days we're going to put a good session all the way together for a big win so if you guys are watching the vlog on youtube today enjoyed the video please be sure to like the video as well as comment and subscribe to the channel i'm currently posting a new poker vlog five days a week monday through friday at 1 p.m eastern standard time and if you ever want to know my live streaming schedule on twitch i post that every monday morning at 9 a.m eastern standard time on my twitch schedule page